What's up guys, and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, and you know it, the Skyrunner. And well, just a little, I guess, I guess update here about yesterday. Uh, Sell it due to work, and a friend of mine got sick at work. Uh, I had to do a few extra hours to finish a project that should be done tomorrow. It's finished now, so I quit a little bit early, and uh, I got around to this, obviously. And uh, because of that, of course, I didn't have any streams, I don't have any new material. Uh, but I just it's one of the first battles I had with this new team, so it is against Minor 49er, uh, same name on Twitter. Um, we actually reached out on Twitter, you know, searching for a battler, and um, I think this was my second battle. And he brought three legendaries. So, you know, reaching out on Twitter, you know that, um, well, let's face it. Uh, that people there are very serious battlers, so I had that in mind, so I really felt like, what are you doing? Wh why are you bringing a team like this? And I myself is using pretty much the same team that I've been using throughout the week. Uh, I switched out my Bugra or my Hippodorn to um, a defensive set instead of the special defensive set, and with, I think this one has Roar and stuff like that, much more. Well, it should, it's made for be around for some time. It obviously didn't work that well, and I changed it, but this is pretty much where I learned that I need to preserve Hippodorn. So anyway, let's get into it. Oh yeah, and I still have my, what is that, the defensive Salamence. So that was actually really fun. Uh, I still use it here, and uh, of course, uh, I thought it would be a nice lead because it is Scarfed and it's very specially defensive. Um, so right, he actually decides to switch out, as I didn't expect that. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Dragon Pulse again, some damage up because it doesn't have any fairies. He does not take this Dragon Pulse good at all, uh, and I, I finish it off, so I start really, really well here, uh, very good position, I have no reason to switch out, so it brings back the Mewtwo, and um, I didn't really feel pressured here, but I also thought he might actually Mega Evolve here, so I might bring my Reuniclus and take whatever comes, so that's like, the reason he evolved to, or switched out was because it was X-Form. So, he actually surprises me here by having special attacks on the physical Mewtwo. And the, the reason I say that is because I think Mega Mewtwo Y or X has, I think, 120 special attack and I think 119 attack. So, very, very weird. They also have a Nine Tails that isn't withdrawn. So, I set up the magic room here and I feel like, alright, we got this one down. Let's bring my Gilead here, so he's going to be able to outspeed now that uh, the magic room is up. And of course, he's going to switch out, and I kind of get that. Uh, bring the Mewtwo, while I myself is going for Rock Slide. And be that it is um, fighting now, it's obviously not very effective. So I thought, alright, let's bring Hippodorn and just, you know, take whatever's coming, getting the Sandstream up. And of course, going for an Aura Sphere, and I am, like I said, especially defensive. It still does a lot of damage, so kind of like this set, I guess. But I wouldn't use it like that. So I saw this as a free opportunity to set up my Self Rocks uh, while he's going for another Aura Sphere. I just felt that I don't want anything to be switched into this. I might as well sack Hippodon here and uh, getting Fur Throw in and going for that Retaliate, really. So he'll finish this off with, of course, the Aura Sphere there. And, uh, like I said, I sacked this guy because I didn't feel like I would really need him. So going to fall through here and, uh, yeah, you know what? Smash! Finish. That move is so incredible. Uh, and together with Sand Rush, really, just fall through is so cool. Uh, so this is pretty much where I learned that the Stoutland set that I'm using might, you know, do the trick. Uh, Crunch still falls short there. I should definitely go on for last resort. Uh, Consider how much Aura Sphere will do here. I actually ending up surviving, but barely. And since the Sandstorm is gone, I'm really forced to switch out because no other Aura Sphere is coming my way. And I know my Reuniclus can definitely wall that. He's going for the Side Strike there, and it doesn't do anything because I am defensive. And Side Strike hits like Side Shock, really. That is, that it's special attack against defenses. Uh, so Ice Beam will do significantly more. Uh, I ended up going for the Trick Room because I know it is the safest move for me, considering that pretty much all my Pokémon are slow, and he got the Dark Rye, I think. He got only fast Pokémon left, like Dark Rye, I think that was Nine Tails. So I'm definitely putting some work here, and being that he is so invested in the speed, really screws him over here, obviously, with me going for that uh, Magic Room or Trick Room. 
don't know why I say magic room, I've done it for some time now. So anyway, I gotta bring Giggles here. And I go for a night slash, it shows me that it's physical first off, and that it isn't... And I can't really stress this enough, it isn't the protein one. So, I'm pretty much getting sure that both his Charizard, Ninetales, and Greninja are his in-game guys. And, uh, due to that attack drop, I'm sadly not able to take out the Dark right here, and that really sucks because he's such a close two, he's actually gone for that Dark Void, of course. And I really didn't feel safe staying in here because I didn't want this Dark Bride to recover some HP if it got the 3 meter. So I thought it was a golden opportunity to just bring my uh, Salamence yet again into this scene because, well, it outspeeds the Dark Bride because it got the Scarf. So I don't fear to go for another Dark Void. Plus the Trick Room is obviously have ended. So, I'll finish him off with this Dark Pulse, of course. So the only guy I got left is Ninetales, and uh, there's really nothing Ninetales can do to me. He got the Dark Pulse on it, but that's about it. Um, so, minor 4-9, I guess this will basically be GG. So, as you guys saw here, of course, this guy has a lot to learn. He's definitely have a lot to learn there, and uh, I'm very thankful for, you know, trying out against the Mewtwo and stuff like that. But you will see, like you saw the guys, it is very very possible to um, take out uh, Mewtwo's with uh, both, uh, I think, was it? Yeah, Stoutland took both Mewtwo's out, so that it's very possible to take out uh, Legendaries with any poke. So, other than that, you know, thank you guys for always watching, of course, and don't forget to leave a like, I guess I should say that, and uh, another comment on the battle. Um, there was a reason I didn't upload this in the first place, and just because I have I have such huge control of this battle, and uh, like I said in the previous video, a lot of battles looked like this because the team put so much pressure against the opponent that it's very hard to recover. Uh, of course, I did lose a few games, but it was not near. When when I lose, it was much more interesting to watch than these type of games where I. Basically didn't lose any pokes. Stoutland just ravaged everybody. Gigalith just one hit killed everything. Um, so yeah, basically it it became very very boring to watch. Uh, so this was actually the, I think that was like the closest second closest game. Plus it was legendaries in it, which you guys actually liked. So I don't know, guys. New team tomorrow, and um, I hope I will be able to upload something for Pocket Super Friday. Um, so as always guys, thank you as well, you all for watching, and have a good day, alright? Bye.